Hey everyone! Did you know that Wix Studio provides you with a choice of environment for developing your websites? Today you will get familiar with working in Wix IDE and write your first lines of code. To enable the dev environment and access Wix IDE, click on the curly braces in the left-hand navigation. Next, click Start Coding. To initialize Wix IDE, click Code in Wix IDE. Wix IDE is a VS Code-based IDE and will open in a new tab. The IDE will open on a welcome screen, but let's take a look at the README over on the left-hand side. This contains documentation that you can reference if you have any questions while working in the Wix IDE. Now let's review the file tree on the left-hand side. The source folder is where all of the code for your site lives. The first file backend, you can see all of your backend code files here. The pages folder contains all of your frontend code files for each page. The file names you'll see consist of the name of the page and then an ID for internal use. You do not want to change or create any new files in this folder. They are generated for you. For pages specifically, any adding, renaming, and deleting can only be done in the editor, and this will sync with the code files. This is not the same as backend, which you can create in either place, and we do have another video covering backend files, which you can reference later, and I'll link here in the description. You also have access here to your public files and your styles if you're using custom CSS. The JS config and Wix folder are system folders and they can be ignored. To the left of your file tree is a feature unique to Wix IDE, which is our AI assistant. You can use this to help you write code, fix errors, discover new features, and learn all about the different APIs. I'll leave a link in the description so you can learn more about how to use this feature on your own. To open files in the Wix IDE, you can either click on them over here in the left tree, but as your project grows, you may want to use a shortcut to find the files that you're looking for more efficiently. You can click Command plus O or Control plus O if you're on Windows and start typing the name of the file you were looking for to open it. Another great feature is the ability to open two code files at the same time in a split screen. To do this, use Command or Control plus backslash which will open the split screen. Then you can use Command plus O again to open whatever file you want to have open next to it. This is really useful when you're working on backend functions that you're going to import into your page code. You can see what's going on side by side and modify them. We only need the home page open, so go ahead and close the master page file. The last feature I want to show you before we get started is the timeline here at the bottom. While you are working, this will auto-save code changes and keep a history of the current IDE session, so you can revert back while you're working if needed. Now that we're acclimated, let's write some code. Now, if you have not already, in the editor, you'll want to make sure that you have a button and a text element on your page. In the onReady function, let's type $w and the ID of our button inside the parentheses to target the element we're writing the click handler for. Notice we have an error on the ID for the button, and this just means that we haven't actually assigned the button element the ID that we want to use yet. A best practice is to give meaningful IDs to any element you plan to manipulate via code. So let's go back over to the editor and give these elements some names. You can give an element a name by clicking on it, and then in the Properties panel, you will be able to update the ID. And let's go ahead and do the ID for the text element. Now, back in the Wix IDE tab, you see that you no longer have an error on your button ID, and we can keep writing out our click event. We are going to update the text element to have a new message on button click. Now, back in the editor, you will see that your code changes here are already synced. Two things you want to notice here as well is that you do have this message letting you know that the code editor is now read only. This is to prevent any code conflicts while you have Wix IDE open. This does not, however, block collaboration. The other feature you might notice is that there are currently two avatars on this site, and that is to show you that two people are working on the site. One is in the visual editor and one is in the IDE. In this case, they are both me. Now let's click on run to see our code in action. Using Run allows you to preview new changes without publishing them to your live site yet. In preview mode, there's a developer console at the bottom, which will display all your logs and error messages if you have any. As you can see, the text updates on click. Another feature of Wix IDE is hot reloading of preview. So let's keep the preview tab open so I can show you how this works. Let's add a console log statement to our click event so that on every click, there will be a message printed to the log. Now. Notice that the code has reloaded and now when we click the button, our message shows in the developer preview. To push your code to your production environment, 
when you're working in the Wix IDE, you will complete this in the editor using the Publish button. So go ahead and click Publish to deploy your code. Your changes are now live. You are now up and running with Wix IDE on Wix Studio. We're constantly evolving Wix IDE so you can expect more things to come in the future, and we're excited to see what you create next.